Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet right here. This bracelet is my own original design, and it is called the Climbing Bracelet. Now, I have made this bracelet a long time ago, many months ago last year, and well, I'm going to be showing you how to make it on a finger loom. So here are a couple more examples. Here is this one, my oldest of all of them. And then here's one I just made to match with a shirt I have, or had, because the shirt's too small for me now. But I will be showing you how to make this bracelet look more like this one here. And yeah, so to make this bracelet, you're going to need your finger loom and a clip. Any clip will work as long as it is for rubber bands. You can either use a little bracelet clip, so like a C clip, or you can use the big clip that comes with your finger loom, and that is if you want to make this a keychain. So, yeah. You will also need rubber bands. As you can see here, I have four different groups of rubber bands because, well, there's going to be four different things that are happening with this bracelet. So I'm going to explain each group now. So this A group here, group A, they are the rubber bands that are a part of the climbing bracelet design. The B rubber bands are the also a part of the bracelet design and so are the C color rubber bands. So all the A, B, and C color rubber bands are doing the same thing but I decided to use three different groups because it would be much easier to explain how to make this bracelet if I had three separate groups. And for this reason I would recommend having a number, so a different number of colored rubber bands that is dividable by three. So I'm going to be using six colors in this tutorial so you could use three colors, or six colors, or nine colors, and I'm talking about different colors. So, yeah. Then over here we have these D rubber bands, and you're only going to need two of these, so I can actually tell you how many of these you're going to need. And they're going to be the cap band, and the last rubber band in your bracelet. So... Here's an example of the D rubber bands in use. So yeah, now what we're going to do is start making this bracelet. So I cannot really tell you how many rubber bands you will need to make this bracelet because it is a growing bracelet, but I can tell you you will only need two of these D rubber bands here. I will be using clear. And yeah, so anyway, I'm so go ahead and get these supplies you will need, get the number of rubber bands you think you will need, and use the pause buttons so that you can do so, and I will see you once you have everything. Alright, so to begin making your bracelet, you're going to need a D color rubber band to start, and the Rainbow Loom logo pin to be the pin that's closest to you. So the pin with the Rainbow Loom logo on it, that's the pin you want closest to you. So, you're going to get this D color rubber band, or this D rubber band here, and you're going to stretch it vertically from this Rainbow Loom logo pin to the pin that's straight across from it. But when you do this, you're going to twist the rubber band onto the vertical pin, so the pin vertical to the Rainbow Loom logo pin. So you get a shape that looks something like this. And this first rubber band we just placed will be our cap band. Now we're going to start placing our A, B, and C color rubber bands. So to start we're going to get an A color rubber band and stretch it going vertically across the two pins. The same two pins. So the Rainbow Loom logo pin and the pin vertical to it. And this pin here, that is here on the top I guess we could say, is the top pin. So we have the Rainbow Loom logo pin, the left pin, the top pin, and the right pin. We're going to be using the left pin 
the right pin and the Rainbow Loom logo pin after this next step. So anyway, once we place this A color rubber band, we're going to loom the bottom rubber band on both pins. So you just grab the bottom rubber band and pull it over. Now what we're going to do with this rubber band here is we're going to stretch, is we're going to grab the side of the rubber band that's here on this top pin, carefully take it off, and move it over to the left. So now it's this A color rubber band is stretching from this rainbow loop logo pin to this left pin. Alright, now we're going to move on to a B color rubber band. And we're going to place it going from this left pin to this right pin. Now over here on the left we have a rubber band underneath of another, so we're going to loom the bottom rubber band. Alright, now we're going to place a C color rubber band. Let's get a C color rubber band, and you're going to place it going from this right pin to this rainbow loom logo pin. Now here on this rainbow loom logo pin and this right pin, where we just placed this C color rubber band, we have rubber bands underneath of it. And what we're going to do with them is we're going to loom them onto this rubber band here. And well, that is the pattern for making this bracelet. Now, making this bracelet is pretty simple, and I will be showing you how to continue making this bracelet two more times. So I'll actually be showing you the actual pattern for making this bracelet and explaining it more. So I'll be showing you two more times. So, to make the climbing bracelet, what we do is we start with an A color rubber band, and A color rubber bands always go from this Rainbow Loom logo pin outwards to the left. So clockwise around the three pins here. So out to the left. And whenever there is a rubber band underneath of another, we loom the bottom rubber band. So here we have a bottom rubber band. We're going to loom it. So pull it over the pin. And over here we have a rubber band on the bottom. So we need to grab it and pull it over the pin. Now once we've placed the A color rubber band and loomed the rubber bands that needed to be loomed, we're going to get a B color rubber band and we're going to place it going from this left pin to this right pin. And B color rubber bands always go across these two pins. Alright, just like we did before, we're going to loom any rubber bands that might be underneath of this B color rubber band we just placed. And over here on the left, it looks like we have a bottom rubber band, so we grab it and pull it over the pin. And over here on the right, it looks like we have a bottom rubber band. So we grab it and pull it over the pin. So looming it. Now we're going to move on to our C color rubber bands. We're going to place a C color rubber band, still going clockwise, from this right pin to this Rainbow Loom logo pin. So also going downwards. So just like we've done before, now we're going to loom any rubber bands that are underneath of this one we just placed. And it looks like we have one here on this right pin. So we grab the bottom rubber band and pull it over. Don't really need to explain looming though. And over here on this Rainbow Loom logo pin it looks like we have a bottom rubber band. So we go ahead and loom it. Alright, and that was the pattern. So I'm going to show you how to continue this bracelet one more time and then I'm going to leave you to continue making this on your own. So to make the climbing bracelet, we start here on this Rainbow Loom logo pin and with an A color rubber band. And what we do is we place this A color rubber band going clockwise and upwards from this Rainbow Loom logo pin to this left pin. All A color rubber bands go across these two pins. So whenever you place an A color upper band, it needs to be going across these two pins. Now because we placed a rubber band, we need to see if there's any rubber bands underneath of it, and we need to loom those rubber bands. So here on this Rainbow Loom logo pin, we have a bottom rubber band, so we're going to go ahead and loom it. 
And over here on the left pin, we have a bottom rubber band. So we're gonna go ahead and loom it. Now we're gonna move on to a B color rubber band. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue going clockwise. We're gonna place this B color rubber band from this left pin to this right pin. So horizontally across your finger loom. Now because we placed another rubber band, we need to see if there's anything underneath of it and we need to loom it. So over here on the left, we have a bottom rubber band, so we're gonna loom it. And over here on the right, we have a bottom rubber band, so we're gonna loom it. Now, we're gonna move on to our C color rubber band. And what we're going to do is we're going to place it going across from this rainbow loom, or sorry, still going clockwise. So from this right pin to this rainbow loom logo pin. That's where we place the C color rubber band. And that is where all C color rubber bands will be placed. So any C color rubber band you place will go from this rainbow loom logo pin and the right pin. All right. So because we placed another rubber band, we're going to need to make sure we loom any rubber bands underneath of it. And here on this right pin, we have a bottom rubber band, so we need to loom it. And here on this rainbow loom logo pin, we have a bottom rubber band. All right, and that was the pattern for making the climbing bracelet a second time. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my bracelet so far. So here is my bracelet so far. Yours should look something like this. And well, what we're going to do now is we're just gonna continue this pattern of placing and looming and going around the three pins. So going from here and then going across here and then going across here over and over until we make our bracelet long enough so it will fit around our wrist or long enough to make it a decent length keychain or however long you wish to make it. So I'm going to go ahead and actually cut the video here. I'm not going to fast forward myself making the rest of this bracelet because it will take me a little while. And yeah. So go ahead and just use the pause button if you need to. Alright, so as you can see here, I have now finished making my bracelet, so now it is long enough to fit around my wrist, and hopefully you have made your bracelet or keychain however long you needed to, and what we're going to do now is we're going to finish off our bracelet or keychain and make it what it's going to be. So have your last D color rubber band out, you won't need any other rubber bands, and have your clip nearby. You won't need it yet, so just have it off to the side for now. now. What we're going to do first, before we place this last rubber band here, is we're going to get all of these rubber bands that are here on our finger loom now onto one pin. Now, this one pin we're going to move everything onto is the Rainbow Loom logo pin. Now, before we do start moving, make sure you have all of the rubber bands that were on the bottom loomed so there should only be one rubber band on each of the three pins that we've been using and all right so now we can get started so to finish off our bracelet what we're going to do is move everything to this rainbow loom logo pin and to start we're going to grab this rubber band here on the left so on this left pin carefully take it off and move it to the rainbow loom logo pin just like that. Then the rubber band that's here on the right pin, we're going to grab it, take it off very carefully and move it to the rainbow loom logo pin. Now we're going to want to get our last D rubber band and we're going to kind of set it here on this rainbow loom logo pin and stretch it vertically across the loom to the pin on the other side and vertically is up and down so from this pin the rainbow loom logo pin to the top pin that's what this pin up here is called now what we're going to do is we're going to loom these three little layers that are underneath of this rubber band we just placed and I would recommend grabbing one layer at a time and pulling it over the pin and just doing it that way because 
it'll keep this rubber band from popping off of this pin and you losing your bracelet. So once you have loomed everything that was on the bottom, now we're going to bring this rubber band all onto one pin as well. And it does not matter which pin, I'm just going to bring, I'm just going to have my rubber band on this Rainbow Loom logo pin. So you just grab the other side of the rubber band, carefully take it off, and bring it over to the other end of the rubber band on the other pin. And this may be a little bit difficult because the rubber band might, the rubber bands on this rubber band might make the rubber band a little bit harder to keep a hold of and get onto this pretty large pin. So once you have something like this here, now you're going to get your clip. Now, if you're going to be using a big clip, you're going to want to take this smaller little hook here, so the smaller part of the clip, and you're going to want to slide it onto these rubber bands on this pin. So there shouldn't be any other rubber bands on any other pin. So you take the big clip and you just slide it onto these rubber bands here. Once you have your big clip on, you would take these rubber bands that are here on this pin and just pull them off of the pin and off your loom, and then you're done with your keychain. Now I'm not going to be doing that, I'm going to be making this a bracelet. So if you have a bracelet clip, so like a C-clip like I do, what you'll do is you'll take your clip, attach it to these rubber bands. Once you have the clip attached to the rubber bands, you will pull the rubber bands off of your loom and off the pin. Now you have your clip on one side of your bracelet. Now you're going to find the other end of your bracelet where your other D-color rubber band is, and that was your cap band, and it is the circular shape. What you're going to want to do is you're going to take your cap band, you get your loom again, and you're going to stretch this cap band across or just onto one of your finger looms pins. Now you're going to get your clip on the other end of your bracelet, and attach it to your cap band as well. So, just get your clip and attach it. There we go. So, once you have your clip on your cap band, you can take the cap band off of the pin, and now your clip is attached to both ends of your bracelet, and now you have your bracelet. So, now I guess it's time for the outro. So, I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully it showed you how to make this climbing bracelet successfully on a finger loom. And if you are interested, I do have some more pretty simple bracelets that you can make on a finger loom. So I will have a link to the finger loom tutorial playlist. And you can make other bracelets such as this one here. This bracelet here is called the heart chain bracelet. And another bracelet I have is this one here, and it is called the Tulip Tierra's Bracelet. So if you're interested in making bracelets like those, I will have a link to this finger loom playlist. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say for this tutorial, other than thanks for watching, and bye!